Today we are going to study the clock of eras right from my study. So good morning. We're going to need a few materials to do this work. I'm going to refer to a clock. I am going to talk about the clock of eras. Um, I am going to, we're going to make a clock of eras. Um, and so if you can collect some colored paper, I happen to have um, an already slightly used piece of paper down in the garage that I'm going to use the back side of. Um, if you have gray, black, yellow, all of these colors, that would be great. If not, we will make do because we are going to be very flexible during this time of not being at school. One material I looked hard for and I'm so grateful that I found is a protractor. Now we're used to the Montessori protractor. It is a square. I just happen to have a picture of it right here that Jenna made. So you're used to this Montessori protractor. <clears throat> Your parents, if you're lucky, might have a traditional protractor that looks like half of a Montessori protractor. Um, again, if not, we will make do. I have ideas for how we're going to do it without a protractor also. So, let's begin. I'm going to move my camera down so you can see my work rug, I hope. Can you see my work rug? Let me move this a little bit. Can you see it now? I believe you can. Okay, so this is a clock for telling time. Look at the hands on the clock. The hands show the passage of, well, this one just has minutes and hours, and of course, other clocks also have a second hand. This clock is telling time as it's passing right now. We are going to make a clock of eras. And this illustrates time that has already passed. This clock represents the time the Earth has been in existence, about 4.5 billion years. So one hour on this clock, you see the 12, the one, the two, the three. One hour would represent 375 million years. So think about that. 375 million years, 375 million years, 375 million years. And so we're gonna learn the story of what was happening during all these different periods of time. All right, let's get right to it. Now I'm gonna put this away and we are going to make our own as I tell the stories. So the first period of time has the name Hadan, and it is colored black. So I'm gonna get my black paper out. The Hadean time no one really knows what caused the earth to form, but humans have wondered about it for a very long time. Many legends and myths tell stories of how the earth came to be. I guess we can look at me now for this part. Hi. <clears throat> this is the story told by the rocks. Before the moment of creation, there was nothing. And you remember this from the creation story. It was dark, darker than the darkest cave. There was no light at all. It was the coldest cold, for there was no heat. Suddenly, the energy of creation came forth. Now there was heat and light. Now there were gases and dust particles. Now all the elements were just right for building planet Earth. So the Hadean time, let's go down to our black paper here. 
This section of our clock is colored black because there was no light. Can you see that okay? The laws of nature were at work. Elements were attracted to each other and great collisions occurred. The elements that would be our sun came together with such force that light and heat were created. The light and heat still blazes today. Different dust particles, and you'll remember some of this from the creation story too. Different dust particles and gases swirled around and away from the sun star. They collided too, but with less force and heat because they were so far away from the sun. These collisions became meteorites and tiny baby planets. The dust and gases formed hot liquids as they cooled. One special planet was a perfect distance from the sun. As it cooled, it became a crust around the hot liquid center. The liquid center moved around under the crust. It made cracks in the crust and the hot liquid shot out. The ash and lava that came out built rocky cone shapes. The crust got thicker and thicker. These are the oldest rocks on the planet. They made the first layer of the crust. There are not many places where these rocks exist today because most of them got buried so deep in the crust that they melted back into the liquid center. These rocks tell us that the planet is billions of years old. The volcanoes had another important job. They filled the atmosphere around the baby planet with cloud forming dust. Rains, rains from the clouds fell everywhere. Water collected on the surface. The, this formed the oceans. There was no life on the little planet during the Hadean time, but the growing crust and the rain were making a place for life to begin. On the clock of eras, the Hadean time is colored black also because there is no life on Earth. So I'm going to start video two and we're gonna start making our clock.